So today I'm going to walk you through how to use bibme.org to cite your sources. So bibme.org is uh, the site that I suggest for you to use. Um, we're going to go to Evernote and what I've done here is I stored all the documents that we're going to use in this uh, video tutorial. So our first one is actually going to the White House blog. Um, and this is all about the America's Job Act. So I'm going to copy the URL. And I switch over to bidme.org. I click on website and I paste the URL there. Oh, but first I'm going to log in. And you should all have an account created for bidme.org. That way you can store your uh, citations in your assignments. So, so we're going to start a new one. Go to name it. I'm going to call this CE1. Or sorry, CE2. <laughs> click OK. So it's saved. Now, click on websites. And I'll paste the URL in. Click on load info. And it's going to extract information that it can tell um, from the site and automatically put it in for you. So we've got the website URL, the page title, the website title. So we're going to come back over here. Uh, there's the author of this article. So I'm going to, oh, the date it was created was 9-8-2011. Come down and put in the author's name. And as you can see, you can add multiple authors to this if you need to. So add it to it, and there it is. The format's all there set for me. I'm going to go to our next article, and this is an uh, article from the New York Times. So again, I'm going to copy the URL. Pull it up in a window. And I'm going to put it in. I click on newspaper and it's the online edition. So I, this is not going to extract the information from you. So I'm going to have to get that. So. New York Times, it's published in New York City, New York. Article title. Let's go back over and get that in a second. I can put in the article URL, the date I accessed it. I'll copy the title. You can see my Google Dictionary popping up because it's been highlighted. There's the author and the date it was published. And it's the politics. Let's see, let's put in the name first. There is politics section. So we'll come back over to Bibme. And we'll put in the New York Times. Hmm. And that's everything, I think. to my bibliography and then it's just loaded over there and it keeps it in the right order that it should be so the alphabetical order that it should be in okay we're gonna flip back over to Evernote the 
This one is uh, CNN, so it's very similar to the other ones. Copy the URL. Go back to bibme.org. I'm going to click on website. Pop in the URL. Load info. Let's go find the date. Usually it's either at the beginning of the article or at the end of the article. Can't find it in this clipping. Someone go ahead and open it in a browser. There it is. September 8th. Let's find the author. So CNN wire staff. So I'm going to click on news service and CNN. That type of biography, there it's in. Okay, let's go to our next document. Back to Evernote. Open this up in a browser window. Uh, opinion piece. This time, because it's, I'm unsure if it's in the printed edition as well, I'm just going to go ahead and do it as a website. And second thought, let's do it as a newspaper. Title, location, there's the URL, let's go back and get some more information, the job speech, they published Opinion pages. And lastly, the data was published. And the date that I accessed it was today. Okay. Website title, New York Times. Author. And do not list the name. So what I'm going to do with bitme.org is just looking to make sure I didn't miss any place with the author's name in it. Nope. It's not anywhere. So I'm going to click on no author. Add to my bibliography. Next up, a graphic. So let's say this is something that we're going to use in our document. Again, I like to have to put it in the URL. Hold in everything. That's created. Check about the author. Let's 
so basically a bunch of people. <laughs> So since I'm not finding anything definite, so it's based upon some research and some data from the Department of Justice. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put no author again and add to my bibliography. Okay, next up, we go, I'm going to head back over to Evernote and we're going to um, grab another graphic. And this is actually a graph from the Department of Labor. This is showing the trends of the unemployment rate. So, put in the website. Pulled in our information for us. Since this is data that's updated on a daily basis, I'll just put today's date and pulled it. Okay, and so we've got uh, that image over in our bibliography now. Lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to pull over how to cite a YouTube video. And this is the actual job speech. You see, we put it in, just need to make some corrections to the spacing. Date created, that's gonna be pretty simple since it's the day that it was given. White House is the author, so I'm going to put no author. Add to my bibliography. Great, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save my bibliography since I'm all done. There it is. Now I'm going to download it. And so the downloads, download is started. It's downloaded, and what I'm going to do is I am going to actually upload it to my Google Docs account. So depending on how your layout is, I have the new layout. You can click on Upload Files, Find It. I'm going to have to go ahead and convert it because I want to be able to use it in my document. Okay, let's open it up. Okay, so what I need to do is uh, select all and click on Format, Clear Formatting. And that'll get rid of all the little extra things that aren't needed. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy, but I'm not going to take the MLA formatting by bidme.org. Copy it. I'm going to put it in my current event, too. Select everything again. Oh, I just made. And make the font, and I like Droid Sans. So just make sure your font is consistent throughout. Bold the works cited. And if I have my seat.